Jesus said, After the Vatican is done killing hundreds of millions of Christians during a 1,260 year rampage, there will be a global earthquake, the sun will be turned to darkness, the moon will appear as blood, and the stars shall fall from heaven. All those events have been recorded in historic record as fulfilled right after the Vatican's first reign of terror ended. It was also prophesied that right before the end in what we call modern times, such things as strikes and protests due to unfair employment practices will become more frequent. That happens to be the norm in society today. It was also prophesied that there will be many wars and rumors of wars. That too is something everyone alive today knows as a basic fact of life. Christian prophecy also states that fear will come to the hearts of men in all nations. And now we not only see that to be worldwide, we also see yet another prophecy regarding the worldwide influx of drugs being administered to billions of fearful people today. Prophecy also tells us that the love of many will wax cold. And now we see mothers killing their babies in abortion clinics, children killing their parents in doctor-assisted suicides to save money when they get old, and the number of murder-suicides has spiked, wherein entire families are wiped out all over the world. Prophecy also predicted that all the animals, birds, fish, and insects will be dying in apocalyptic numbers worldwide. And not only has this been happening for years, the powers that be are doing all they can to censor the facts on this to keep the panic down. It has also been prophesied long ago that when we get extremely close to the end, a new world order wherein the world will be divided into ten regions under one ruler, and this has been declared finalized on paper years ago, and is right now major talking points in many news broadcasts to try to get the general population in agreement with it all. I've actually done a few videos on that one alone, seeing how it's so extreme. Prophecy also stated that the rich will heap their treasures in great amounts right before the end, and right now, all the major corporations out there make more money than anyone can spend in multiple lifetimes, yet the poor that work for them are subject to even worse poverty, which was also prophesied. Prophecy stated long ago that very near the end, knowledge will be increased. And now we see this as a reality today as well. It was also prophesied that right before Jesus returns, many atheists will come forth, scoffing at the word of God, and especially the prophesied events, even though they too see them coming to fulfillment. And because of their widespread scoffing, prophecy says immorality and a global decline in spirituality will be seen. And yes, that too is part of our world today. In fact, it has also made it very easy to see another prophecy fulfilled wherein the craze for the lusts of the flesh will go off the chart. And so they have. It was prophesied in the word of God long ago that right before the eastern sky splits, there will be no regard for law. Bloody crimes will be committed in the cities in broad daylight and violence of all sorts will become acceptable in society. And no one alive today can ignore this too has been fulfilled. We now see a great number of earthquakes happening each and every week. Strange weather events from snow in the deserts to spring weather in the dead of winter, exceptionally violent storms, and many new diseases, so many they need computers now to keep track of them all. And famines are also increasing in number, just as prophecy said they would right before Jesus gets here. You simply cannot watch a news broadcast anywhere in the world without some mention of all this on a daily basis, even though most of it is censored so as to allow another prophecy to be fulfilled, wherein they declare peace and safety to calm the masses regarding what's really happening out there. Prophecy also said the churches of America would create a church and state conglomerate so as to lay the foundation for religious law so as to have the ability to enforce the mark of the beast. And not only have the churches joined with the government in their 501c3 contracts, as of March 7, 2006, all the churches were given power to lobby religious law. And since the last election, religious talk and politics have become more frequent than ever before. It was also prophesied that many will claim to be Jesus Christ himself right near the end, and we now see many have done this in nearly every nation on earth. 
prophecy also shares how most people will embrace seducing spirits and the occult will be accepted worldwide, and this too has been the norm in our society for many years now. It was also prophesied that the killing of Christians will begin again all over the world, just as they were the first time Rome killed them during the prophesied Great Tribulation. Right now, we are averaging 200,000 Christians being martyred each and every year. And one of the final prophecies that was declared to be fulfilled before the mark of the beast was enforced is homosexual marriage being legalized. And now that too has come to pass. That all being said, and there's many more prophecies I could have mentioned, since we have 100% rock-hard evidence that nearly every end-time prophecy has come to fruition just as the Bible said they would, and the ones that have yet to be fulfilled already have their foundations laid before them so as to be next in line. Why on earth are there still some people out there believing it's all just a strange coincidence? It's because that, too, was prophesied. For those that want to see every single prophecy as it was declared in the Word of God and then proven fulfilled in history, download my free book, People Get Ready, when you get time. Thank you for watching. God bless.